Hey guys, what's up? It's your Frobler. It's actually been a while since I say that, because usually I say, like, welcome people if you did not know. But, like, whatever. It's just, it's just what I'm saying in the beginning of the video. I feel like I'm thinking about it too hard. But anyways, so the latest character, or well, the latest DLC character just came out for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Piranha Plant. And, uh, yeah, I thought I'd give my first impressions on this character and maybe do a couple online matches. I was thinking about streaming this, but it's really late at night, and I just did a stream. So I'm thinking I'll just make, like, a more in-depth video, basically. So, uh, yeah. So first off, I'm just gonna go into training for a little bit, basically, to showcase him. I'll go on... Uh, Battlefield. Yeah, I'm going Battlefield. So, uh, here's Piranha Plant. And, uh, I like his colors a lot. They're really good. Uh, this one is obviously the standard one. This one's pretty good. This one's kind of lame. This one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. This one is the one I use. And this one's pretty good. And that one is also really, really good. But yeah, that's the one I use. So I'll just like showcase him a little bit. So this character, basically the best way to describe him is he's just he's just goofy. Like honestly, he's just goofy. He's really goofy. So pretty much his his neutral B move like his uh special moves, they're they're pretty good. Like for edge guarding and stuff. Uh, side B is like, I don't even know, I haven't thought about how to use side B. It's pretty good because it racks up like a lot of damage, but it has no knockback. So it's just, that's kind of a downside for it. If it kind of like, just like knocked you back a little bit, just a tiny bit, like being hit by the edge of like Link's boomerang or something, just like a little, okay, not like that, but like just, bounces you back a little bit kind of like she's like whip in um smash bros melee if it did that i think it would be a lot better but still a lot of damage and i'm not even charging it up all the way and uh his neutral b uh is really good for edge guarding uh i guess yeah it takes a little bit for it to recharge i guess yeah, so you can't do it immediately after using one previously. So it's a pretty good edge guarding tool, but it takes too long to use on stage, kind of. Also, it's pretty good for shield pressuring. So, um, his down smash, dude, this has like broken range. I'm not gonna lie, honestly. It has like too much range, and if you want to talk about edge guarding, this is pretty good at high percents. Up B, it's kind of like a better version of King K. Rolls Up B. I don't know about better or worse. I think it might be better. But that's just me. I'm not, I don't know yet. I can't make a solid opinion on whether it's better or worse. And uh, yeah, that's all of his neutral moves. Or his special moves. So um, his aerials. Uh, neutral B is like Ivysaur's neutral B. It's pretty good. Um, up air. It's good when like you're above your opponent. But uh... What is this hitbox? Seriously, what the frick is this hitbox? Why can I not hit my opponent? That's just busted. Not like the good kind of busted, like Bayonet in Smash 4. Actually, that's not good busted, never mind. Uh, forward air has like the same thing, but like sometimes it's weird. It doesn't always do that. Like, like there it did that, but sometimes it'll just like completely go through your opponent which is really bad so this hitbox is pretty good for like edge guarding basically when you like go off stage and hit him well that's back air and speaking of good edge guarding uh back air is really good for that back airs are powerful that's just how back airs are it's like a forward smash forward smashes are always powerful but you know back airs are a lot more reliable because they come out faster of course so yeah, his back air, or er, I actually think Piranha Plant is a she because of the Palutena's guidance thing. 
Yeah. Back air is a she. But, no, what? Back air is a she? That doesn't make sense. But the back air is a really good move. It's just kind of difficult to land. It, it's kind of small compared to, say, like, well, I don't know what else, but, like, Mario's. Just say, I f it feels kind of smaller. But it's still a really good move. So, uh, down air? I actually think this is a really good move for coming down from like really heavy, per from like really high percents when you're about to fall down. Uh, this is a good move to shake it up and then you can follow up with like a down smash or something, which is really good. So now I think we can jump into some online matches. I'm not going to go too in depth really, because I just want to keep this video kind of simple. For those of you who like play Smash Bros competitively, you might not understand what I'm talking about. And you'd rather just see me play the game. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the game. Alright, we're going online. If you guys would like me to see more discussion videos uh, about the new DLC characters, let me know. Because I like doing this. This, this is fun. Just like analyzing the characters. Yeah, please tell me. Because I would love to do it on Joker and uh, Master Chief and Crash Bandicoot. I know they're not confirmed, but come on. It's gonna be a thing. So, um, he has a lot of combos. Like, kind of a hard combo to land, but if you do it right, it can be really good. It's like up throw to down B, actually. And we're against another Piranha Plant because he came out today. We're, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was today. See, he's gonna use that edge guarding technique. But, it, I, yeah, actually, this, like, the crappy Gordo, basically, that's what it is, the spike thing, it's pretty, it's actually pretty good on, like, platforms, too. Like, not, like, the main platform, but, like, the top platform. Because if somebody tries to approach you, there's a chance they'll get hit. And if they hit you, the thing actually falls. So it'll hit them. So if they're at high percentage and, like, they back air you off the stage, say, that's bad news for them because they could get hit by it. I don't know why I forward smash there. Up smash is actually a really good move because forward smash is not very good. Like, at all. Honestly. See, that- how did that not kill? Well, it's probably just because he's got pretty good DI and I don't know why he thought that could tether get- tether grab or something. Because it doesn't tether grab. And, see, you can't do it immediately after. Otherwise, he would have been dead. Like, very deaded. So, yeah. Um, I'd say his best smash attacks are up smash and down smash. His forward smash isn't that good. I'd say down smash is better because it has a better range. And, like, you end up getting more use out of it. So, I'm pretty sure his best... His best smash attack is his down smash. And as for his, like, aerials, I don't know. Maybe it's forward air, but I don't know. It's really tough call because he's got pretty good aerials. And, oh, my God, he is not dying. There we go. It's actually really hard to, like, usually this is weird, but, like, talking actually helps me play. But it's it's kind of difficult right now. Not gonna lie. See the side B. If it came out immediately, it'd be a lot better. But obviously, you couldn't charge it up that way. So it won't be as good unless it was automatically at the highest thing. Otherwise, it'd be kind of busted. That was clean. See, why do I keep dying before he does? He's at like a way higher percentage than me. I need to focus. 
I keep telling them it's like forward smash, which is just like so lame. Oh god. Oh, I'm still in it because I DI'd. Uh, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna lose that. But yeah, he played pretty good. It's actually the first time I've lost a piranha plant in an online. It's probably because I'm talking. So if I focus a little more, I could probably beat this guy. So, this is what I'll do. And of course, leave your thoughts on piranha plant in the comment section below. If you even have Smash Bros. Ultimate. Because it's a really, really fun character. And a really fun game. Honestly, in my opinion, Smash Bros. Ultimate is the best Switch game right now. But that's just because I'm biased and Smash Bros. is my favorite game franchise of all time. And my favorite game of all time, really. Singularly, the Smash Bros. Ultimate has become my favorite game of all time. Just because it's got everything I would want in a Smash game that isn't subspace. And, uh, uh I guess the Piranha Plant quit. And I just noticed that somehow. Alright. So I'm pretty sure Piranha Plant can do good against Ike. Based on what I'm doing right now. I haven't, like, seen too many of the matchups. Like, I haven't, like, thought about who would Piranha Plant be good against. But I'm pretty sure he'd be pretty good against Ike. Because, like, a lot of his moves can, like, counter... Ike's moves. I just stood there. I'm not going to lie. That was awful. Please don't blame me if I suck too. Because, like, this is a brand new character, alright? And I'm no zero. Although, I personally think that, like, Tweak and MK Lair are having better results than zero. If you even follow competitive Smash Bros. getting into competitive Smash Bros. actually because it's a really like loving community you know well I mean it is now I mean like I know like getting into the franchise takes like years of research basically but once you figure it out you don't it, it doesn't get more fun it's just it's a ton of fun to play and like go to tournaments and stuff I've never been to a tournament myself but I will be going to some Smash Bros. Ultimate tournaments I don't know which ones, but it'll be cool. I was gonna enter the uh, North American Open, but like, I don't know. It's like, they said it's being played with items on, and items are just cheap and gross. So, yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Ooh, that was scary DI. Ooh, okay, that was, that was a good up smash. Should not have counted there. That was a bad decision on his part. I need to use more of the special moves. Honestly, I need to showcase more of this character. There we go. Got him. So I'm thinking we do one more match before we wrap this up. Actually, you know what? That's good. That's a good time to stop. Because it's late at night. And I am tired, alright? So just let a man rest in peace, okay? I'm tired. So, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like what you enjoyed, saw. If, if you like the video, you can like and subscribe. And leave the comments telling me if I should do a video like this on Joker. Because that would be swell. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Sayonara.